Hello everybody, I am back as you can see. Um, I did like an eye tutorial talk through video. Um, I also talk about how a couple houses I lived in were haunted and I go into the specifics of one of the houses. So if you want a story time and to learn how to do this eye look, go ahead and continue watching. Okay, so if my eyebrows look shitty, especially like the ends, it's because the eyebrow brush that I usually use, I accidentally left at my sister's house and she just went to San Diego and was on vacation. I had to use my backup one that I've never used before and it was ass. So I want to hear no slander about that. So I've already primed my eyes. Um, something I'm doing a little bit different is I'm not setting them. I'm gonna dip in with the Soft Glam palette. This has been around. They already <laughs> announced their newest one. I'm going to probably do something neutral because why wouldn't I? Every time I do a video, I'm a mess. To use the brush that you get in the Anastasia palette, um, and I'm gonna dip into orange soda. I'm gonna put that all over my crease area. I'm gonna tell you guys about all the times that I lived in haunted houses. <laughs> Two houses that I've lived in have been haunted, certifiably. This house that I lived in during middle school, um, before I moved to where I, the town I live now was haunted. Um, the original owner of the house actually died in his sleep in our house. And then it wasn't like anything crazy happened. Me and my mom would be like, hey, and then like say his name and stuff. And um, I felt really safe in that house though, even though he was there. But yeah, he died of a heart attack. And I think in my room, we would always like, your footsteps and shit. We never saw anything there. Um, I don't want to say that another place I lived at was haunted, but some spooky shit definitely happened there. I'm going to dip into the same brush, burnt orange. Oh. So I moved the end of my junior year to the town that I now live in. Um, so this was two years ago. I live in a house and that bitch was for sure fucking haunted. I'm gonna tell you why. I felt a presence there. You like Long Island medium over here or nothing? Like, not to that extent at all. But I kinda could sense when there's something in the house and I could sense that there was something in that fucking house. It was so freaking like unsettling just to be there, you guys. I hated going into the garage alone um, or without the light on. Like even during the day I would turn on the garage light, I would leave it on, like it just freaked me out so much. And it was just really weird. And like there was, so like we had two living rooms and in one of the living rooms, like my room was actually like, there was a door and <laughs> my room was right there. It was kind of just like, we made it into a living room. Like it was an empty space. So like, actually hold on. Before I show you this, I'm definitely not an architect or interior designer. The bathroom, the garage, and then there was like, so this was a garage, okay. Then there was like a hallway right here. And then you would go into the living room and then my room, there was like a door right there. So this hallway just seemed like the longest hallway in the world like if all the doors were closed in that hallway it was pitch black during the day like the house would get so dark and it was just so weird that hallway just gave me chills every time i would look down it so i would have the lights on in the hallway or all the doors open like except my roommates like bedroom door in her bathroom in between my mom's room in our roommate's room there was a room right here that was used as storage and it connected to my roommate's room so like it was kind of like her storage room that room was the freakiest room I always hear the rocking chair in that room move I hear something like that I would always hear like the door like a door open and close and it just really would freak me out like I really hated being home alone um, I really hated being home alone there. Like, I would always be on FaceTime with one of my friends, and I would always be like, girl, I'm about to die. Like, 
no joke like I would always think I was gonna die so I would try like not to be home or I would try to have my friend there a friend there as much as possible like um and my roommates schedules were like basically kind of the same and they both worked like until late at night I was home alone a lot okay and like it was my senior year of high school so kind of focused on school you know trying to freaking graduate and it just sucked ass like okay i'm really not even trying to be dramatic when i say that i had nightmares about that room so i had a dream and this isn't even like this is not me saying like oh this is why i think it's haunted no like i just want to tell you guys i had a dream that my roommate came into my room screaming at me and was like tell your fucking friend to get the fuck out of my storage room I was like yeah your friend's on my rocking chair and like she won't get off and like she won't talk to me went into the room in my dream and there was no one there but like the rocking chair was moving and then i had another dream that i kept hearing the rocking chair like i do in person and it was just getting louder and louder and louder so i went over there in my dream and the girl was there and it was the same girl that in my previous dream my roommate had described to me and it was just so weird and that's when weird shit started happening the m433 brush by morphe <sighs> I knew I was gonna do a neutral, a neutral look. Into... Sienna. So just coat your brush with that, tap it off, and go on. I'm just gonna focus this on the outside corner and just bring it in deep into that crease to deepen it up a little bit I had this glass table and like I can't even describe this glass table but basically it's like outdoor glass so it's made to be like indestructible like not to be broken and shit and um I'll attach a picture like right here I'm pretty sure you guys have all like somehow seen this table I had that freaking table right outside I had that table forever um, I should also mention I had a dog who would bark Literally, he didn't bark at anything, but he would always bark once we moved to that house. He no, I think he like barked at the ghost. He barked a lot when we lived there. Um, our cat would stare outside a lot. So back to this freaking stupid ass table. One day, we had the uh, curtains closed because in the living room there was like um, big glass doors to go outside. In the living room across my room is where I'm talking about and we had curtains and we had them closed hear my dog like start to bark and we're like oh whatever like freaking tequila's barking once again like what's new they were fixing our garage and so my mom was outside in the front yard with the people talking about the garage door and my roommate was walking down the hall and i was in the little living room watching sons of anarchy we hear this loud ass noise like of glass shattering and we're both like what the hell but we didn't i didn't get up to check and my roommate didn't come back to check because we thought that they had broken something outside my mom runs inside the house from the garage and she's like what the hell was that like are you guys okay and we're like what do you mean what was that like wasn't that something from outside and she goes no like that wasn't no like i just heard a loud like noise like what was that and the dog starts going off like going psycho barking and we're like what the hell is going on like what is going on what the fuck and so we open it can you guess what happened that fucking indestructible glass is shattered like this is the perimeter right with the metal and this is all the glass everything inside of that was broken we tried to say first maybe it was a dog that jumped on it my dog wasn't even 10 pounds he was a tiny little rat. Tequila was a little rat. So there was no way, there was no way, no way that it was my dog. Like, absolutely not. Like, he had jumped on it before, like, thousands of times. Like, he would run on it and all this stuff. Like, there was no fucking way that was my dog. And so then I was like, oh, hell no. But still, like, we kind of were in denial. <laughs> like, me being the weird ass person that I am that's like into ghost and shit I was like oh it's the ghost ha 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 like trying to make it a joke 
Why? Because I'm stupid, basically. Okay, I'm gonna dip into the Vice Reloaded palette. Um, and I'm going to use twice to bake. Then, we decided one day, me and my roommate, she had the day off. We decided, let's go to Capitola. So, to Capitola we went. It was really fun. It was kind of a gloomy day. And we were in hours of traffic. But nonetheless, it was a fun day. Day. I'm just gonna take a clean Morphe this brush and just kind of blend it. Um, whatever. We checked the mail. Well, I checked the mail. And the mail that was for my mom, I went to her room and I put it on her bed. And I kind of did a look around of her room. I'm a <laughs> hyper aware person when it comes to. To my surroundings like be weird but like if I've ever been in your room I probably remember like random shit that you had in your room because I was looking and like not in a weird way like I'm not trying to kill you in your sleep or anything I'm just very hyper aware of my surroundings we go to our rooms and whatever and very shortly after we got home my mom got home from work and she came to our room she's like hey Sam like how was it blah blah, blah. she goes into her room and we hear her say what the fuck and slam her bedroom door hell hard she slammed that shit hard as hell um me and my roommate are both like what did we do and so my mom comes out of her room into my room and she's like tell me in spanish come over here i'm like okay and she tells my roommate too and she we walk into her room and on the wall that, like when you walk in that wall, my mom had a huge mirror, like this huge mirror hanging off of the wall. And it was completely shattered. All the glass was all over the ground. And we were both like baffled, especially me because I had just walked into my mom's room and there was nothing, nothing wrong with it. A bitch was shook, shook. So now I'm dipping into the Tarte and Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. Dip into the color Sassy Bun and put that on my lid. This is gonna kind of be like the eyeshadow look that everybody always sees me have because it's just really easy for me to do and I've kind of been uninspired to do anything crazy. Um, kind of just apply it until you're happy with it. And I like to use my finger for this because I think shimmers um, shimmers and like chunky metallic colors <sighs> apply better when you use your finger. Okay, so I just went off camera and applied my lashes. They are Bambi by Unicorn Cosmetics, I'm pretty sure. Um, I love Unicorn Cosmetics lashes, but they are so hard for me to clean and I always rip them. So these are actually on their last freaking leg. So if you guys know like any brands that like make really full fluffy lashes and are affordable and easy to clean that are not Huda Beauty or House of Lashes, please let me know because I am in dying need of some. Unicorn lashes are also really expensive because they're from the UK so you have to pay like international shipping and whatever and they're just really hard to clean for me at least and I usually have acrylics on so I always end up ripping them so they're just like not worth the money. Um, I'm just taking a makeup wipe and cleaning any um, of that gold color and in inner corner. So um, I'm not gonna put any color in my waterline or anything. I'm just gonna dip into the Soft Glam with a bullet crease to brush that um, once had a name by Morphe and now it doesn't. I'm gonna dip into Cypress Umber, which is like a dark brown. Right, right here. I'm just gonna focus it like on the outer part of my eye and lightly bring it in. Um, I don't like bringing it on all the way because if you bring it in all the way it makes your eye look smaller. I like just doing it right here. What part was I on with the fucking mirror broke? Shattered. Okay, you guys. 
everywhere and my mom was so mad and like she didn't believe us mad because like she was like what if i walked in and i was barefoot and i stepped on the glass which is like a totally like reasonable reason to be mad but we like told her we were like dude we didn't hear anything i walked into the room and like there was no glass on the ground like 100 like i am positive there was no glass on the ground or else i would have picked it i was just like really freaked out and so were we because like how is it that a huge ass mirror completely shattered within like five minutes of us being home and we didn't hear it that's a little that's a little a little suspicious to me a little bit for 33 brush that i used with sienna and blending out the bottom color so this is the dose of colors of fuego highlighter made by desi and katie here on youtube this part of the anastasia brush i'm just gonna dip it in there and put it right here the inner corner arch of your brow right there and then you just i like to blend it so it's not like a harsh line i'm on this side there we go i to use some mascara for the lower lash line so this is max upward lash in upward black i like my lower lashes to be really dramatic because i'm a dramatic ass bitch i go off camera and finish up my face then i'll be right back so this is the final look um this is kind of what i do my eyes all the time because i lack inspiration or creativity if you guys enjoyed it um remember to like comment and subscribe to my channel to see more of my shenanigans and me promising to upload and never actually uploading if you wanted to see how i did my face and my brows um i had just posted a get ready with me video where i go through all of that and yeah see you guys in the next video